everyone. I just want to show you a short tutorial on how to use the break-even function on your BA2 Plus calculator. I've got some data here that's from the first example in the lesson video. Uh, hopefully you're watching this first so that you have an understanding of how to use your calculator and when it comes time in the lesson. Now don't worry about um, what these variables stand for. I do go over it all in the lesson. So in order to get into break-even break even mode, you're going to go second function and then six. So notice the yellow break even above that. And now you've got your list of variables. So FC, fixed cost, VC, variable cost, P, price, PFT, profit, and Q, quantity. And so I can change between those using the up and down arrows. If I want to put a value in, I can put in 2000 for my fixed costs and I need to push enter to lock it in and notice that the equal sign comes up to show me that I've set that value. If I were to put in a value, so say 15 for variable costs and I hit down before hitting enter, when I go back it's not there anymore. So you need to make sure that you're locking it in by pushing enter. We can enter all of our data. PFT is zero, I'm gonna leave that alone. Quantity is what I'm looking for. So I make sure that quantity is up on my screen and I hit this CPT button, compute. And that's gonna give me an answer for quantity. And then I can scroll up and down. I can change any of these values. I can compute a different value. So if I change my quantity, oops, enter and I want to compute my variable cost, it will compute that based on the new quantity. If you want to clear all of the values so that you can start from scratch, you're gonna hit second function and clear, and that's going to wipe out all of your values so you're starting from scratch. If you want to get back to regular calculator land, second function quit. And one last thing I'd like to show you, so I'm going to put back in break even mode, you can do little side calculations. So I can have 250 plus 500 equals, and then I can set the answer as that variable. Uh, so if you've got a variable up on your screen and you need to do a little side calculation, uh, you don't have to exit out of break even mode to be able to do that. So I'm going to clear all my values again and get back to my starting point.